I the remember, door, and I was, I was like, like, what why? the hell is going on? That was the same with Blast for Cat. I remember when Blast for Cat was the child. I haven't seen him. I don't I, oh, man, see he's him. tall. He's, 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 he's on tall, yeah. That's messed up, dude. That's messed up. I used to have to drive Charlie to locals. I, I remember that. And now he's, like, also a man. It's weird. What a time to grow up, man. So cow. What a anyway. crazy time. Oh, Scizor uh, sticking with the classic Link, and we got Nomex playing Bowser Jr. Uh, Bowser Jr. been taking names today, so, you know. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not a, not a character to be slept on, for yeah, sure. The Bowser Jr. mains are uh, inspired today by Ketchup, probably, so. I would not want to be fighting any Bowser. I lost to Bowser Jr. I just realized I lost to Bowser Jr. today. Holy moly. Is this the, is this the tournament of Bowser Jr.? This is Bowser Jr. MSM. Yeah. But uh, so far, Scizor's like, nah, I think I can just throw stuff at him and not let him in. It is kind of hard, I feel like, for Bowser Jr. to get on Link, uh, just because he can throw the boomerang and yeah. kind of negate the side B, right? Exactly. I'm Link, assuming that's how that interaction works. Link's boomerang is one of those things that make you select your options much more consciously, yeah. but also slows your opponent down to play at your pace. If your opponent has a speed or a burst option in, like Bowser Jr.'s Cooper Kart, you can essentially stop right. that in its tracks. Yeah, which is, I mean, let's be honest, that's Bowser Jr.'s favorite button, <laughs> is, is the cart button. So I, I used to argue that people, Bowser Jr. is just Sonic if he was heavier. <laughs> Sonic in a cart. Yeah, Sonic in a cart. But, uh, yeah, so when you're able to kind of nullify their, their, you know, their best movement option, a good combo starter, a good kill move, when you're able to negate that kind of power, uh, you'll, you'll get a lot of leverage in the matchup. Yeah. Scissors so gotta be careful on those get-up options there. He's able to recover here up against Bowser Jr. No max looking to get those back airs in. Tough stuff for Scissor. He's got to watch the landing, but that's good to throw the bomb down to give Nomex something to fight for. A B? No, it's a little oh, bit too. Nothing. Yeah, so at, yeah. on the spin out, that's good for Bowser Jr. because it makes it safer. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't even just throw the bomb at him or anything, though. Scissor held shield for uh, much longer than he needed to there. Uh, it's you, I, to get the Scissor punish. has some lucky chance of actually fighting catch up a few times in the region yeah. because they are within the same range. So I think he was trying to account for the usual Bowser Jr. out of shield, out of out of cart option. And that is twice now that Scizor has uh, uh, basically, uh, oh god, what's the word? What's the word? Never mind. <laughs> I don't remember the word. Point blank, got it. Point blank boomeranged and has uh, been punished for it twice, but able to get the first stock with the up tilt. I apologize, guys. Yeah, and that's a good back air one. It's a really good link confirm at those percents. You can usually use it to get back air one or back, or back air. It's usually the first hit of back air, and you have yeah. the fast one into that up tilt for it to connect. Good for Scissor to get that nair, especially knowing how good it is against a character that's trying to land. This is rough, though. He is vastly approaching mm. F-Smash and up-Smash range, and uh, yeah, Nomex is gonna clean up that second stock. And now, again, this is one of those other characters that really doesn't like to, to play from behind very often. Uh, as Link, you kind of want to be controlling the space and then making them come to you, and then when they do, you get a punish with like an up tilt or an up B out of shield. Mm -hmm. So having to play from behind while Bowser Jr. is just chucking freaking cannonballs at you oh. is uh, kind of rough. So I like that Zer drop there with the bomb. If had Scizor had gone for a forward air, that, that Zer would have covered the landing and the aerial at the same time. Yeah. This tough spot for Scizor here, but he finally gets that jump. Nair to try to trade it on that Koopa cart. He's got stage control, not too much damage on him, but unfortunately in the middle of an aerial startup, that Nair will stop Scizor in his tracks. Also, I don't know if he's done it with this game, especially because there's so many more characters, but in Smash 4, Scizor knew everything about Oh yeah, he did, video. he did. Like, he knew the most random, like, kill percents for characters that he didn't even play and would just be able to tell you, like, the frame properties of things. It was so weird to talk to Scizor about that video game. I'm assuming he hasn't had as much time as he, he knows, did before. The but. funny thing is that having Arrow as one of my closest friends, him and Scizor have about the same mentality of knowing that stuff. Yeah, Even though Scizor will not demonstrate it, he knows it. Yeah, it's, it's wild. But yeah, so a lot of knowledge behind this player um, as he tries to make this comeback on game one. Yeah, Scizor was known as one of the most technical links you could actually see yeah. play. All right, 107 here to 44. If Scizor can avoid a lot of this damage, he can make this comeback. That was the first hit of him in the back air. Yeah, unfortunate for Link. Unable to really uh, do anything to Bowser Jr. out of shield. Bowser Jr.'s aerial mobility is just letting him kind of get away with uh, poking the shield for free. All and right. uh, Scizor has had a really hard time trying to uh, get any like reversals out of shield. Oh, that's a great nair to catch him back. Yeah, that. good nair, but no, uh, no capitalization really. Yeah, there usually you can't go for nair yeah. to fair, you know, nair to grab, or read the tech situation from there. And that's what Scizor is looking for, that nair confirm. Yeah, now you really want the Nair, because I think you can do Nair dash attack now. Mm -hmm. Nair dash attack, you can also... Oh, oh hits him the... in the head with the cannon. 
And in the middle of trying to land, I commend Scissor for going for that lower recovery. Yeah. Just seeing of how Bowser Jr. and he, him having the bomb, you can't bomb jump that with self detonation. Yeah. But I like that Nomex knows, okay, this forward air has a sticky option. It, is, it does last out there for a few frames. It'll stop Scissor in his tracks. And at worst, I can use my up B in which he has to worry about the actual cart exploding as well. Absolutely. Interesting. Uh, we'll see where Scissor takes him. Oh, never mind. We're just going back down to city. Not interesting at all. Small fun fact here, Scissor also used to have a secondary. I don't know if he still uses the character Greninja. I remember that was another oh, character. Yeah, yeah he did. that's true. I forgot all about the Scissor Greninja. Hmm. A character he definitely enjoyed playing. Uh, one of my favorite Pokemon as well. He went right to uh, right to Link, though. So not seeing any kind of secondaries from Scizor. He's just going to stick it out with the Link, take what he learned in game one, and uh, probably just try not to lose his first stock so early and maybe not uh, boomerang into Bowser Jr.'s shield because that was one of the biggest ways that Nomex was getting damaged. Yeah. Like, that exact boomerang right there uh, was really, really bad in game one. He's able to connect with the first try here, so. Now now it's good for him to try to understand is let me get that spacing, but also you can use boomerang as a startup tool in your combo Yeah. and to extend it as well, or even as a finisher or a setup at the end guard. It's going to be up to Scizor to see how he can now set Nomex on the recovery here of how boomerang worked originally. Yeah, this is working so much better for Scizor already. Huge lead. And uh, if he can take this stock here without taking any more damage, Ops for the up tilt instead of up smash there. That's a great That's play yeah. because that bomb bounce will force you a hit and you can confirm that into an explosion. Yeah. If at worst, you will land and you can get the up smash. Yeah, beautiful the conversion roll. there from Scissor. Beautiful stock, honestly. He played that close to perfection. And uh, now he's got a great lead to work with, and we'll see uh, how his playstyle differs from when he's behind. Oh no, he air dodged right into Nomex's range there. Yeah. I like that. Goes for back out of shield. Why? Nomex might be trying to get a little bit of the stage control by going for a roll. Uh-oh. Scissor tried to account yeah. for him. Scissor's got to watch the recovery here. Great self-detonation from the bomb. Yeah, he needed to do that or he was going to get fared again. Just the way that the the same way that the first game ended, he was going to fall victim to that fair again. It's a really great, great bomb recovery there. Nice. And the Nair on the drop. Can you get another one? No, I like that. Takes stage control instead. Yeah. Oh! That's Perfect we, forward air. And we saw how that almost worked last time, but yeah. he didn't go for forward air. This time it will. Yeah, Scizor seems so much more comfortable in this game, too. I mean, he just loses his stock there, but even the way he's playing and setting up. Oh, the extension from the Koopa Koopa. Yeah. Works out in Scizor's favor, and now he's got an entire stock lead, 0% on both players. No mix. He's the one fighting from behind this time at a pretty huge deficit. All right, couple couple of aerials here from Nomex. I like that. Lands on that platform. See if it gets some kind of extension or rid of potential air dodge. All right, so they're trying to get that center stage control to fight for. Boomerang in play. I like that. Tries to close in when there. Finally, some control here. Nomex tries to inch in, but that jump, that high jump over that Nair against oh. Bowser Jr. is really good. Oh, air dodge is the explosion, but it's still flying victim to the hammer on the way down from Nomex. I huh? have noticed that uh, Scizor has played most of this game from the corner, Roz. Nomex has prioritized center stage. I don't know if yeah. it's, it's because Scizor is comfortable playing like closer to the edge, or if it's just because he hasn't found a way to steal center from, uh, I think from it's Nomex. A, I think it's a little bit of both, right? Yeah. Stealing center, you have to commit. You have to be careful in your commitment. Bowser Jr. can close the gap with Mecha Koopa. He can have some, sorry, with Koopa Kart. He can trap the stage with Mecha Koopa. You have to really have those things in consideration. All right, one big hit away from a game three here is Scizor. It's an air, it's a bomb drop here. That bomb bounce will amount to something here. Great play from Scizor. Earns that grab as he forces Nomex to yeah. evaluate that situation. This feels so hard for Nomex right now. I mean, even if you take this stock, you're at 170%. You basically can't get touched. Oh. So that was good, but the only thing is that this time he tried to do it as an advancing forward boomerang at the forward air. The, the landing hit of the second hit of the forward air, and Scizor is taking it to game three. Yeah. And that's the only reason why we saw Scizor get hit by the Koopa Kart. How he jumped back for boomerang, he could have narrowly avoided it. Yeah. Do we know where Nomex is from? Is he SoCal? Mm, not too sure. Um, this could be a new player, and that's the beautiful thing about MSM, man. Yeah. We not only have out-of-state players, but this is some of their first tournaments as well for some new players. Peckham was one of the great Min Min mains of Smash Ultimate Online, but also MSM Online, if you guys are viewers from that stream. So, and this was Peckham's first tournament coming out to MSM. So we'll see here, stage choices all aside. I, I think it would be 
we'll see how the stage choice goes. I think you want to probably avoid something like a bigger space. And like, I was going to say, Town and City might be actually the play going back to it. Yeah, they both seem very comfortable there. They both took a game there. Both games they took were convincing, so I don't see a reason to switch. I don't think yeah. the stage has played it's too big a role. No, in, uh, no, I, I would say matchup. I would say maybe for Nomex you want a smaller stage just to have Shizor more trap and less space to use his projectiles. Yeah. But the reality is you also want space to move around. Yeah, them you need as well. space to run because I mean if you if you go somewhere like Smashville for example, where Link can just hold shield under the platform and up B at a shield and cover half the stage, yeah. that could be pretty bad. So I can uh, I can understand Nomax wanting the space to kind of cart away in bad situations. And this is the first game where the beginning is very even. Usually, uh, on both game one and two, one character or one player just exploded, and uh, the other one was forced to play from behind the entire time. And whoever has played from behind has lost. So, uh, again, in matchups like this, I think first stock is just so important. Any character that wants to control the pace and make the other uh, character play in a completely different play style. Oh, nice. He set up that bomb to get for the bounce, hoping Nomex would go. But Nomex adapted this time around. A couple nares, but he's not going to hit anything unless it's a shield there. Fortunate Sizz for Scizor. Oh. Scizor with a slight percent lead, but Bowser Jr.'s kill power is so insane. Up smash, jab at the ledge. Oh, good jump, too, to avoid the Mecha Koopa interaction. Bomb to stop Bowser Jr. in the recovery. Nice, sets up that bomb, and what a coverage with the Unsold. Really doesn't feel like any player has a lead until the stock is taken, and Scizor is going to clean it up first. Oh. But really nice clean up there from Nomex, getting the fair off stage. He wanted to Z-drop that bomb. Yeah. I saw the starting, yeah. All right, so Nomex evening it up. And uh, once again, this is the first time that the games have been closed, so I feel like both players have figured out what they need to do, and uh, it's just going to come down to the wire. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dude, if he got the spike and that killed, that would have been such a huge momentum shift in favor of Scizor. Luckily for uh, Nomex, he's able to live, but he does take a decent amount of damage for it. Oh, Scizor getting caught one too many times by the arrows, oh nearly my God. avoiding that. That was so scary. I respect Scizor. He went for the reverse of B just because he could drag out Bowser Jr. Scizor has ledge. placed those Z drop forward airs perfectly both times that he's used it in order to kill. And again, it nets him a stock lead. Scizor with a slight advantage here. Bowser Jr. very capable of evening this up pretty quickly. I like that. I like this from Scizor too because he's, like you said, he's put himself in the corner, but he sees that the center stage isn't clear yet. He doesn't want to commit. He'll move in yeah. when he gets a chance. And that's how he's been avoiding some damage there. Oh, Good that man. boomerang was beautiful. Nomex is, is, you know, taking a lot of damage here on his final stock. This is getting uh, harder and harder for Nomex to come back. Nice. Stop that. Side B there with the boomerang. I'll smash. That'll do the spot. That'll do it. So this is his big shot. He really needs a, a really big conversion off like a cart or an up air string. Something to net him a lot of stage control plus damage. And Scizor so far not giving it to him at all. Just facing away with forward air and up airs. All right. A little bit of aggressive on the bomb. Great fair yeah, he'll take the damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah he'll take the damage all day. And Uppy out of shield is going to finish it off. Scizor with the beautiful adaptation. And uh, after losing game one, is able to clean it up. Yeah, and the best part about this